welcome to the Think Big with Mike podcast, where we are bringing together the top entrepreneurs and investors from all areas to share what they have learned and used to succeed in their business. Education, motivation, inspiration. Subscribe and share today. Now strap in for another episode of Think Big with Mike. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Thinking Big with Mike, your host here, Mike Gonzalez. And I'm going to take you on a journey today, a quick one, a very fast one, promise. Uh, and it's going to talk about how to get started in the real estate industry, uh, how to, how to get really how to start in the wholesale, in the wholesale industry. Uh, I get questioned all the time from friends, family, uh, other, other work colleagues that ask, you know, how I got in, how I got started. Uh, is it true that you can get you know, and buy, buy real estate or buy properties with little or no money down, uh, good credit, bad credit, and make, make big money, big money, you know, <laughs> you know all the time. The, the quick answer to that is, um, you know, the complicated answer is yes and no. Uh, it can happen, but just remember, nothing in this world comes easy. Uh, like most people say, easy come, easy go, and, and nothing's free nothing nothing's free in this world so keep that in mind as you get started and uh, hopefully this helps you out especially if you're just getting started uh, in the real estate industry and, and uh, of course we're always here to help and assist so don't ever drop don't ever forget to drop comments uh, reach out to us on our instagram page or our facebook page and then as always if we if you learned anything or you enjoyed what you heard man give us the old thumbs up like like our content uh, subscribe to our YouTube uh, YouTube page so we can continue this process and keep giving you guys some great content out there. So let's get started real quick. How to get started in the wholesale real estate business uh, with minimal minimal money out of pocket to get that first deal. Uh, how you want to get started is a process that you call driving for dollars. It's the least expensive that I found that you can do. You do it every day. You're driving to the grocery store, you're driving back and forth to work. Uh, there's no reason why you or family members or friends uh, can cut through these neighborhoods or these subdivisions and document the houses and write down the addresses that you feel or that you think you're gonna chase down as a lead. Now, when you're driving these neighborhoods, what you wanna look for or the houses that are a little dilapidated, uh, worn down. You're looking for, you know, high grass. You're looking for an overloaded mailbox. Uh, you know, the the porch light on in the middle of the day. You're looking for those, you know, bad roof. You're looking for those houses. That's what you're looking for. And what you want to do is, as you're driving through these neighborhoods, you want to write down the address. Write down a quick reminder description. Take a picture with your phone. We're all running around with cell phones nowadays. Take a quick picture of the house, but write down that address. And I want you to keep doing that, you know, and drive, you know, these, you know, single neighborhoods, multiple neighborhoods, different areas of town, different parts of town. Do that until you get about a minimum, a minimum of 40 addresses. You want to have at least 40 addresses. And you want to do this once a week. Every week, you want to accumulate 40 addresses. Once you get your 40 addresses or and, and you know, once you have your list of 40 addresses, then you need to get back to your computer and you're going to do a little homework. What you do next is you get on the county appraisal district. So you're going to go to your county, look up that appraisal district, and you're going to type in that address and you're going to locate the owners and you're going to start your list and you're going to start making a list from the address to who the owner is and you're going to start uh, compiling that. Then what I want you to do is once you have your list of 40 addresses or more and you have all the owners down, we're going to go through and we're going to scratch out all the ones that are bank owned. So if you see if it's owned by a mortgage company or it's owned by a bank, you're going to want to draw a line through it. You're just not there yet. Uh, it's, not a, it's not an avenue you're going to take from a wholesale side. So you're really looking for the owner of the property, an individual who still owns that property. Okay. Once you have that list, and you have the owner's name and that information written down. Your next step is you're going to have to find out a little bit more information. And that's what we call skip tracing. Okay. So you're going to get on the old interweb and you're going to go to truepeoplesearch.com. That's truepeoplesearch.com. You're going to plug in the owner's information and then you're going to start documenting down phone numbers, emails, relatives, any information that you can find on that individual is what you're looking for, okay? 
then you're going to put it all in a little paper, your little spreadsheet. You're going to have all the address, the owner's name, and their contact information. Okay. Once you have that information compiled and you've got it put together, which should take you one evening to run through 40 names. Easy. One evening. Once you have that together, go get you some blank postcard stock and do a handwritten postcard. Say, Dear Mr. Owner, my name is, and I'm a real estate investor, and I would like to talk to you about making an offer on your property. And you go along some of, those, some of those lines and you list your contact information, whether it be a email, preferably a phone number that they can text, and you ask them to reach back out for you. You do that for every address you have. You put a stamp on it, you run to the mailbox, you drop it in the mailbox. In the meantime, once those are mailed out, you're gonna take your list that you found on True People Search, and now you're gonna make some phone calls and or texts when you send out a text. And you're gonna say the same thing. You're gonna say, hey, Mr. Seller, or hey, Mr. Smith, my name is John, and I'm a real estate investor in your area. And I'm looking to make an offer on your home. Would you be interested in receiving an offer from me? Personally, I usually don't ask people, hey, are you interested in selling your house? Because they say yes or no. Most people are a little bit more open or a little bit more, um, I guess they're willing to, to hear a little bit more from me if I say, are you willing to hear an offer on your property? Then they want to hear what kind of numbers you're going to throw at them. So it just kind of opens the door. So keep that in mind as you're going through your process. So you send out your text, you make your phone calls, you've got your postcards going out, and you continue that process every week, once a week at a minimum. 40 addresses, 40 checks on the appraisal district, 40 checks on uh, your skip trace, 40 postcards, 40 phone calls, 40 texts, and you continue that process again and again and again. And then you want to continue to follow up. If your first batch or your first set of numbers didn't produce anything, call them back. Send out a second, when you send out your second listing of postcards, send out another one for the first batch. Now you're working off 80, you know, and then the third week you're at, you know, 120, <laughs> if that's where I'm at, you know, you're at 120 addresses. So you can kind of see how it builds on itself. And I guarantee at some point, you know, between day one and hopefully day 30, day 60, you're going to get somebody that says, hey, yeah, sure, send me over what you got. Tell me what, tell me what you can do for me. And that's how you get your lead. That is, that is about as simple as it comes in this industry. It's not easy work. It's not hard work, but it's consistent work. It's persistence that pays off. And that's what you have to have in this industry is persistence, follow-up, and consistency and you keep it going, you're going to find that once you have that lead and you can you know, secure it with a contract and then turn around and sell that contract, the very first deal you make and the very first time you make a check from a title company or that gets handed to you, you know, on a deal that you were driving around and did and you look back and you see how much time and effort you put in and then the rewards that you get, you're hooked you're hooked. So stick with it. Always stick with it. Stick with your process and be persistent. Like I said, nothing is, nothing's ever easy in this world. Nothing comes fast. If, if, if somebody's promising you to make a million dollars in, in one deal, it, it, it doesn't work that way. You know, I've been doing this for several years. We do several deals a month, some months, you know, we do, and we have to work very hard at what we do. You know, there, there's a range that we work with with our marketing, but we just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, and it produces the same results. And that is what this business is all about at the end of the day. It's a marketing, a marketed driven business that, until you find your leads and you're just constantly filling that funnel up, you know, your marketing funnel, you're, you're constantly putting, putting uh, information into it. And at the end of the day, it's gonna generate you the financial reward that you're looking for. So I hope this helps. Again, real quick rehash, start off with driving those neighborhoods. It's very simple. The houses you're looking for are very easy. You're looking for dilapidated houses, roof repairs, broken windows, vacant houses, overgrown yards, 
then you're going to do a little bit of homework. Appraisal District, TruePeopleSearch.com, and then you get and then you're getting down to reaching out for them. Postcards, which are quick and easy and simple. You're going to wait, make your phone calls or send out texts or even emails when you do your True People Search. You can even get emails and send them an email. Any way that you can get a hold of that person to tell them who you are and what you're doing is going to create an opportunity for you. So I hope this helps. I hope this explains a little bit about how to kind of get your foot in the door to get started. If you have any questions about any part of that process, feel free to drop a comment. Again, find us on Instagram, Facebook, whatever you need to do, reach out for us. We're here to help you. Um, and again, good, good luck, happy hunting. And if you get that contract, give me a call. I might be looking for a, for a house to buy for a flip or a rental. So I might be your first buyer. So I look forward to it. Good luck out there. And again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and continue to watch. Good luck guys.